Hi you guys, happy Saturday. This is JJ. I hope that you guys are having a beautiful weekend or a beautiful day whenever you do come across this video. So today's pick a card is going to be what spiritual gift have you mastered in a past life? This is a collaboration video. So my girl, Charmed Wisdom, is going to be doing the other part of this video what gifts are you integrating currently right now this is something that we both uh, picked up on and we have been picking this up on we've been having similar dreams about how we are in a class how we're learning new things how we're speaking to somebody in a different language i don't know if it's light language i don't know if it's um some type of uh dialect or like there's just we're speaking with someone who we do not know but they both have the same energy of an ancestor and it's really really cool and so we decided to collaborate on that so go follow my girl charmed wisdom i will link her video down in the description box below she is amazing and um, I have the honor and have had the honor to connect with her and to meet her in person and if she is amazing so you guys go check her out go follow her if you don't show some love and support so again this is pile one pile two and pile three remember that these are general readings so take what resonates and leave the rest behind something doesn't fit do not force it to fit these are going to be, again, spiritual gifts that you have developed in a past life. Thank you to all of you who have been here with me since the beginning. I love and um, I, you know, respect and honor all of you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's beautiful to connect with you guys on Insta. I wish I could answer a lot more people, but sometimes, you know. I get really busy with my kids and stuff like that, but it's always an honor to connect. For those of you who uh, have been asking about the Reiki courses level two and the Reiki master level, that is coming up. I am teaching those in May, so stay tuned for that. And again, thank you to all of you who have signed up for the spiritual retreat. So let's get started. Hello, pile number one. Let's see what gift have you mastered in a past life. Why is this important? I feel like it's because many of us, we have these gifts that we have mastered, but sometimes they stay dormant within us. And so hopefully this pick a card or the pile that you chose will help you recall something or will activate you in some way to uh, start integrating this. Uh, into your daily life and also don't forget to check out my girls um, pick a card to see if it matches if that's the gift that you're integrating right now so let's see okay we have here oof the sun that's such a beautiful card we have um, the fire serpent seeking a higher truth discernment a better path authority Okay, you were someone with a lot of authority. You had quite a presence. I feel like you were well known in your past life. We have Medicine Guardian. Be open to healing information. Again, I feel like your guides 111, as I said that. I feel like your guides are trying to reach out to you and let you know, like, look, this is what we're doing. This is this is part of who you are. And I feel like this is becoming known to you. Seeker. Okay, so you were someone who traveled a lot. I feel like you had a lot of information from different uh, healing modalities in a past life. We have hibernation and regeneration. I feel like you worked with crystals as well. I feel like sound music is something that, sound healing that you did here. Um, but let's continue and we'll see right now. Angel of Union. Yeah, I feel like this is something that you might even be integrating right now. We have the medium's toolbox. Yes, like I said, I feel like you had a little bit of everything. Like the sun, it's kind of similar. This is not a sunflower, but it's very similar. I feel like you have a strong solar plexus and a sacral as well. I feel like you're someone who's very creative. You were someone who was very creative too. Again, you had some type of, I feel like you were well known. There was some type of recognition here for a lot of you. Healing um with music something with music here this is something you've mastered for a lot of you i feel like through your paintings as well and then we have a map here and then with the seeker i feel for many of you you were very well known that you traveled the world so maybe currently right now you actually do travel a lot as well and then we 
have sitting in the power. Look at that. Yes, I feel like power number one. You were someone, and I can't say this enough, you were someone who you were known for your gift by other people. And then we have blessed with gratitude. You had you had a very strong light here, pile number one. Very strong light here. I feel here, I feel like you've mastered Kundalini energy as well. Every time I think of serpent and that fire energy, especially with the union, uh, you know, the energy of the divine feminine and the divine masculine that we see in Kundalini, I feel like this is something that you've mastered before. Maybe you even taught it. I feel like uh, as well, I feel that you've provided some type of healing. You made medicine for people in the past. I feel like, like I said, you became very well known to the point that a lot of people from different parts of the world came to see you and you went to see them as well. I'm also getting here, like I said, you did not just only master one thing, you mastered many things. This was something that you... With the sunflower here and the sun energy, this is something that was your identity. This pile, I don't feel like you were hiding in any way. I don't feel like in any way you kept this under wrap. I feel like this is something that you were very well known for. With this Leo energy, I feel like as well, you had this like um, this elegance to you as well. I feel like you also helped... The younger generation from the past lives as well i feel like you also helped a lot of couples here is what i'm picking up with the union card i feel like you you also helped them like heal sexual trauma sexual healing here you might have even done like womb healing for some of you as well because of the kid in the sun card i'm also getting here as well for others of you with this kundalini energy i feel like you tied it into twin flames okay so maybe you yourself were a twin flame in a past life and I feel like you guided other twins as well here, pile number one. I'm also getting this energy. Again, it's this like I, I keep getting like the yin and the yang, the kundalini, the tantra. So maybe that's why you feel so drawn to tantra or to kundalini currently at this time or it just came into your awareness. But this was something that you've mastered in a past life. I'm also getting this energy here as well. They're showing me heavy Venus and heavy Pluto. So I do feel like you had, like I said, there, there was this like unspoken power about you and you were very well loved. I feel like there was something here about working with others. Like I said, I feel like not a one-on-one. -on -one. I, I don't get that. I feel like you worked in a community. This was like um, in a group setting or you taught classes. There is here something as well. Again, they're showing me like sound bowls, sound healing. So for others of you, I feel like you did this or you provided this service as well. I feel like you've mastered the fire element. So if you're ever like wondering what's my element, what element do I need to work with? Well, work with fire, pile number one, because fi fire, I feel like that's the one that you are very familiar. That That's the one that you feel the most comfortable. Also doing something creative here because I do feel like your healing ability was developed or you mastered it through your creativity through your art through your music through your paintings and these are qualities that you might have already in this lifetime i'm getting the name kyle i don't know they're the name kyle standing out um strong k so it could be cassandra it can be casey it can be carla it can be um, there's so many here with the letter K. Kevin with the K. I don't know why I just heard that too. Um, I feel like also you are some, pile number one, you are someone who's very connected to the astrology. I'm getting astrology here. There's so much wisdom that you hold within you from your past life. You might be someone who's able to see orbs as well because i feel like in in a past life again it's like you you're able to pick up i'm getting aura healing here as well i feel like you gave these mindful messages this guidance to people i feel like people felt really secure very protected very much seen and loved by you in a past life here pile number one it's like you embody your darkness very well they keep showing me the infinity sign, which tells me that there's a lot of like, uh, 
manifestations. You know how to manifest. And if you're ever having any issues currently right now, work with the fire element. So with candles, um, saging, I would associate it more with air, but you can do that as well. I also feel here you work with crystals, okay? Crystal, crystal grids. I feel like you were also you also have the ability to travel in your in your sleep. So you're a dream traveler. I think that's what it's called, dream traveler. I feel like you get a lot of messages as well through your dreams and you did in a past life and I feel like you shared these messages with the community. I feel here as well, you were someone who was very connected to your truth. You were more of a solitary energy too. I feel like even though you did guide a lot of people, there was this time here as well where you were like, you you kept a lot to yourself. And I feel like what really got you here is this thirst for wisdom here. Okay, it's like you were always learning. You were always very curious. I feel like you taught a lot of people that there's a better path. It's like you changed people's perspective here in the past. And for others of you, you were the traditional um, description of a healer here. I feel like you work very close to Archangel Raphael. So you might, you know, that, that might be something that you're like, yes. You know, I feel like you also held a lot of meditation sessions. I feel like you were someone who meditated a lot. I'm also getting this energy here as well of um again, I feel like you you woke a lot of people up. You woke a lot of people up. See, that's the infinity. 5 and 3 is 8. I feel like you were like the safe place where people felt like they they can they can recharge. I don't know in your energy it just feels really good pile number one like really really good i feel like you were someone who was very much ascended ascended in whatever your topic was at in that past life because there was so much that's coming through and it makes sense with the medium toolbox i feel like it's not just one thing for you here pile number one so maybe in this lifetime you have a hard time kind of picking one thing you might be a little bit everywhere but it's because you have so much gift and knowledge from other places and that might make you feel a little bit like, oh my God, I'm wishy-washy. But no, it's because in a past life, you dominated so many things. But that is what I have for you, pile number one. Don't forget to check out my Girl Charmed Wisdom video to see if you are integrating any of these past life gifts that I did touch on today. Uh, take care of yourselves. Have a beautiful weekend. Bye. Hello, pile number two. Let's see what is the spiritual gift that you have mastered in a past life. Don't forget to check out my girls. Uh, pick a card to see if any of the any of the gifts that I'm touching on right now or that I will be touching on if you are currently integrating them right now in this lifetime. So let's have a look. I feel like you were a spiritual elder. That's something that I'm picking up right away. A spiritual elder. I feel like you... Uh, where someone who people went to for guidance, I'm, I'm seeing you were very good at discerning truth from illusion. I feel like you were someone who was not judgmental in any way. There was, like, as soon as I tap into your energy, pile number two, I'm getting this energy of like a lot of unconditional love. A lot of unconditional love. And I feel like in this lifetime, you will be in a um, a spiritual elder. That's something that I am picking up here. Your level of consciousness is amazing. It's uh, really, it's really high. I'm getting, you are someone who channels or you channeled a lot of divine, divine knowledge, divine power. But let's see. We have the Five of Cups. Okay. The Inner Oracle. Look at that. You might be a Libra. You, your birthday might be on the 17th. Life Path 5, Life Path 1 or 7 or 8. I feel like you helped a lot of people emotionally here. We have Air Guardian. Shift your perception. I feel like you helped shift other people's perception here. 
I feel like you help them come back into balance, especially emotionally. I feel like a lot of wounded people or a lot of people who are going through a lot of emotional uh, inner turmoil or have gone through some type of like a mourning situation or something tragic had happened in their life, I feel like they went to you because I feel like you were someone who was able to see both sides of the story or both sides of the situation. And I feel like because you were also someone who was very tapped in, you were able to explain this quite well because a Libra has a way of communicating. They're very good communicators. Destroyer. Releasing what is potentially destructive and preparing for a new life. And then we have your shadow attributes intoxicating with destructive power, destroying others' dreams or potentials. Yeah, I feel like, okay. I feel like when people felt like their dreams were destroyed, okay, or like um, that they that they had to rebuild or they were in a process of rebirth, I feel like they went to you. I feel like they came to you. Transformation and change. Yes, when they were going through a big shift in their life. It's like this is this card always gives me full energy. Because I feel like she's like right there on the ledge, right on the edge. I'm now hearing the song Lady Gaga. I'm on the edge of glory. Angel of space clearing. Okay, I feel like you guys did limpias. You guys did baños, despojo. Uh, for those of you who don't speak Spanish, uh, these are like cleansings. Um, these are like removal of, I would say, hexes. I would say of even um, evil eye. In a past life, like you did all of this, like you did a lot of cleansing, a lot of removing. You could have done this through Reiki as well, but I feel like this was more like on shaman, like on a shaman level. Shaman practices turn on switch. Yes, you have a very strong third eye here, pile number two. I feel like you are someone who has mastered in a past life when to turn it off and when to turn it on. Again, because you have that perfect balance. I feel like you had a perfect balance of the spiritual and the practical. Divine nudges. I feel here you are someone who connects a lot with your angels, with your ancestors. I feel like you are an omen reader as well. Again, your discernment is it's really good. Really, really good. And then we have here special healing for the open hearted. Yes, that's what I was getting. I'm getting this energy of like you guys. There was people who went through emotional, an emotional upheaval or a storm here, right? With the heart being cups, cups, emotions. When something happened that threw them off balance, that kind of like, you know, kind of like the volcano that, um, that something erupted or something in their life a tower moment happened it's like they came to you for solace is the word that i'm hearing but also what i'm getting here is um yes when there was some type of tragedy yes okay there were when there was some type of tragedies like they came to you because you have this energy of a teacher remember how i was talking about a elder a spiritual elder i feel like you were someone who held a lot of wisdom uh you know you were someone who you helped others find a purpose. Exactly. Thank you. You helped them find a purpose through their tragedy. You helped them kind of see the, the lessons that were there. You helped them understand and you helped them cope with, with their, their tower moment, if you will, or through their five of cups in this situation, because that is the card that we do have. I'm also getting here as well. Like I said, you are a very mature soul. I feel here that you had a lot of self-awareness. You were someone who was very sensitive, sensitive to energies, sensitive to other people. I feel like you helped others also like figure out or get back on their life mission. I feel like especially when they were going through an ego death. Or when they were about to start a new journey or when they were supposed to start a new journey, it's like you were the one that helped them. You helped them free themselves, right? With the angel of space clearing here. It's like you helped them let go of old habits, um, old beliefs that were kind of keeping them stuck or weren't allowing them to see the sun. Because I feel like when they came to you, they were in this five of cups and this kind of like very dark time in their lives. 
And it's like with you, they found kinship and you helped them transform like a beautiful butterfly. You gave them wings here is what I'm picking up. It's like you helped them shift the way that they looked at things. And I feel like this is beautiful. And this could have been through so many different modalities. But again, I'm picking up like, um, I don't know why I heard Yoruba. And please, if I'm saying that wrong, I'm so sorry. I mean no disrespect. Um, I'm also getting here, like again, shaman practices. Um, I'm hearing Cuba as well. I'm hearing Cuba, Brazil. Okay, that's confirmation for somebody. I feel like people came to you when they were going through like a moment like right now, like the ambulance, when it was a crisis. Like, it's like you were there for a lack of a better metaphor, like their 911 dispatcher or their lighthouse, if you will. And I feel like they came to you. And this could have been other healers as well that came to you. For you to cleanse them. For you to maybe do like baths, banyos, or rituals as well here. Because you are someone who had the power to... You have this strong Pluto energy to you. The strong like Saturnian energy to you. These might be heavy placements that you currently have in your, in your natal chart. It's like you told people what they needed to hear, even if it was very Plutonic or very uh, Saturnian, like very like straight. And it's like, but this is what we need to do. This is what we need to heal. This is what we need to remove because that is the, that, that is the, the root of the situation. And I feel like even though at first it was very difficult for people to maybe get the message, but eventually they did and they came back, okay? Is the energy that I'm picking up for you here, pile number two. You had authority. That's the word I want to say. You had authority here, pile number two. But there was this humbleness to you. It's kind of the energy that I'm picking up on. You might have strong air in, in this lifetime as well. Like strong Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Um... But I feel like you're someone who in the past you can turn it off and on. Like it's, it's not that you always were. Because I feel like with this Libra energy, I feel like there was this other side of you. I feel like, yes, you were a spiritual elder. But at the same time, it's kind of like you had your your other kind of like life, if you will. So let's say, for example, like a current example would be like, let's say you are a nurse, but then... On the weekends, you do Reiki healing or you do tarot reading, something like that. There was like this duality to you. And I feel like you've mastered this duality quite well. Pile number two. But that is what I have for you. Again, you have strong communications with your guides, with the angels in particular here. And your ancestors. Your element is air. So if you're ever wondering what's your element, what element do you work best or will come easier for you, it's air. So smudging speaking things into existence uh things like this but that is what i have for you pile number two don't forget to check out my girl's video to see if these are some of the gifts that you're integrating now in this lifetime take care of yourselves have a beautiful weekend and i will see you guys next time bye hello pile number three let's have a look and let's see what gift have you mastered in a past life and don't forget to check out my girls a video to see if you are if you are integrating any of the gifts that you have mastered in a past life i would like to know let us know so let's see let's have a look okay what do we have here what do we have here okay first thing i'm seeing is is a baby in a womb so maybe you mastered womb healing for some of you i'm also getting old soul old soul teacher you were very wise there was something here about um i feel like there's this energy i'm getting a lot of like king of swords energy 
But let's see. The seven of cups. Oof. Medium. I feel like you were you were a medium. Mediumship is here. Cosmic wave number nine. You might be life path number nine, number seven. New friendships, preparation, and custodians. We have snake energy. So you might be someone who loves snakes, okay, or resonate, or maybe owns a snake. I don't know. Visionary, yeah, like I said. You might cover your head. That's something that I'm picking up here. Or you might love to wear white. So the light attributes are capacity to envision. Espiritismo is something that I'm picking up here as well. Espiritista. Capacity to envision what is not yet conceived, conceivable to others. Willingness to proclaim a vision without regarding for personal gain. Without regard for personal gain. Shadow and attributes. Selling insights to the highest bidder. Compromising your vision to make it more acceptable. Okay. Pile number three, you guys are mediums, but what's really calling me, and then we have another snake here, what's really standing out to me is the fact that his eye is closed, his or her eye is closed, I know you can't quite see it, my lighting is not the best right now, and then we have here, she's covering one eye. So I feel like for some of you, you have discovered this already. And for others of you, it's like you're maybe there's fears there. But in a past life, you there, there was absolutely no fears. This is what you were known for. You were a, a strong. I'm also getting gypsy, Egyptian, uh, gypsy, gypsy, Kitana. Um, this energy of prophetic. I'm getting very prophetic energy here. Okay, let's see. Follow your dreams. Yes, look, they have crystal ball here too. Just a side note, the eclipse that is coming in, I don't know why this is giving me eclipse energy. I feel like it's going to awaken something here. Or you're going to get a powerful vision of something, which is April the 20th, by the way, in Aries. I feel like you also did rune readings. I feel like you did candle readings as well. I feel like you prepared candles here, pile number three. I feel like you were, you have this like witchy energy to you because in the other piles we do have the same deck, but I didn't pick up on that. But in this pile, I am picking up this witchy energy. You might be males here as well watching this particular pile. You might be very drawn to cats. I feel like you were someone who works with the moon cycles, okay? You might you might even be like a powerful astrologer as well, or you were a powerful astrologer, but I feel like something about right now too. So for some of you, I feel like you're very aware of this. I don't feel like this is something, I feel like you've had dreams about this lifetime. Wow, goddess of sacred power. You are being encouraged to take a leading role in your current situation. Again, this looks very like yoni. Um... Yes, I feel like and runes. Runes are significant because this is also a rune. And then we have runes here. You might be someone who's very drawn to runes. I feel like your element is fire. Fire as well here. I feel like your power of manifestation, again, it's like covered, covered. I don't know if you kept this under wraps in another lifetime. Thought of power. You were an amazing manifester. The strong energy of... Uh, what is it called? <laughs> I want to say telekinesis, but I don't think that's what it is. Telepathic communication. Maybe telekinesis. I don't know. A impression versus expression. For some of you, I feel like... I don't know why, but I'm getting... in. In this lifetime, this was something you might love to wear crystal jewelry here. You might own a crystal ball, but I feel like, again, you, um, scrying. Scrying is also something that you've mastered in a past life. I don't know why I'm getting, like, dancing, ritualistic dancing as well. 
but I feel what I was going to say is I feel like somehow in this lifetime, it was out of the box. It was something that is not as common as it is now is what I'm getting here. Again, it's like male energy. I feel like you had a lot of male or masculine energy in this lifetime. I feel this energy of like, I help those who I knew or like a close kin or a close kind of like group of people. Treasure of the soul. There's so much here for you. I feel like you were someone who was very powerful. But I feel like I keep getting this energy of like, for some reason, it was behind closed doors. It was something that that I I couldn't see. I didn't know. Um, not that I didn't know, but it's like other people didn't know. Sorry. Hold on. I want to pull another card here. Pile number two. I mean, pile number three. Maybe you got to watch pile number two. Yeah, there's something about like um, you had very much healing hands as well. Again, I feel like the gifts that you mastered are prophetic dreams or, like I said, very psychic mediumship. I feel like you were someone who was able to communicate with past loved ones. What else? I feel like you did a lot of, like, ritualistic work, too, but it feels like it was, I don't know, it feels like it was hidden. I feel like you helped a lot of people. You were very much someone who was tapped into higher consciousness. Number three, what else do we have here? Yes, it's like you were you were this cosmic gateway. I feel like okay. That's why it feels very like closed in in some way. I feel like in a past life here, pile number three, you've mastered this, okay? I mean, clearly. But for some reason, there is this sense of hidden, of restriction. And I feel like because in your past life, even though you did master this, but you kept it very hidden. And so I feel like you did this with a closed group of people. But there's a lot of insecurities here. And this brings me back to the fact that I was saying it's like one eye, one of her eyes is closed. And I feel like in this lifetime, you're meant to break these barriers, break out of this box. Because I feel like this side of you wants to be free. And I know that's not what the reading is about, but that's what's coming through. And this is the way I read my cards. If I feel something, I will say it. And so I feel like in this lifetime, you are meant to set this side of you, the spiritual gifts free. You're meant to express them with others because you are someone who has a lot of power. There's a lot of like, I'm getting this, uh, you have dragon energy here. Very reptilian energy, but not like reptilian as like the star seeds reptilians, but like just the animal. <laughs> like a lot of like snakes, um, dragon energy yeah that's why I keep getting reptilian there's also this like because your vibration is so like up there this might be this group is like when people meet you they can feel they can feel who you are the, you know the wisdom that you carry because you're a direct channel thank you you're a direct channel that's what it is. You're a direct channel. But I feel like because your crown chakra is so much like, it's so open. So open. I, I wouldn't be surprised, pile number three, if when you get Reiki uh, sessions or when people tap in or when you get readings, people tell you like your crown chakra is like a funnel, like a, like a tunnel of infinite wisdom. And I feel like this is you, pile number three. You might have even a hard time even explaining what your gifts are because even me trying to give you this message is kind of like, you know, I'm trying to 
put this in the best way so you can understand. So maybe you know what your gifts are, but you just don't know how to explain them. Yeah, but they're saying you're a direct channel to source. But because of, it feels like because of tradition in this lifetime or because it was so out of the box, you're still carrying around these restrictions, these insecurities, this kind of like glass box, if you will. Or yeah, glass box. So that's what it looks like. And I feel like you're meant to break free from it. But you're a powerful, you're a powerful healer, a powerful uh, psychic. Mm. Again, it's like your vibration. Spirit keeps saying your vibration. But there's like a lot of psychic debris is what I want to say. Yeah, because there's a lot of like energy attachments here. Work with, uh, I'm getting Shiva, Shiva energy. Work with. Yeah, it's, it's like this energy that you need to transmute. For many of you, you do dominate or you do work with violet, the violet flame. Violet fire here. Again, psychic visions. Your psychic visions are powerful, but I don't know if in a past life you got so like very powerful psychic visions and you were kind of like shamed for them or something like that. Or I don't know, there's something around that here. I'm going to pick one card here because it feels like pile number three. If you can do shadow work on this, let me tell you. Your gifts were like skyrocket. Because I feel like there's a lot of like um, self-sabotage here or just a lot of fear. There's a lot of fear here. Maybe fear of what you pick up or what comes through. Maybe you're this energy of like, I, I just don't want to know, JJ. I, I, let me tell you, I picked up some things and they came true. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want people to think I'm crazy or something like this. Um, and I'm laughing because I can relate. It's not because, you know, I think it's funny. No, that's not what it is. But I feel like there's so much here that you need to transmute because I'm also I also feel like because you're just this like direct channel to spirit, you're also a direct kind of like plug for other people. And it's like you pick up on their stuff, you pick up on their fear, you pick up on their insecurities as well. And then it's like you need to have like this spiritual hygiene here, pile number three. Yes, but look, there's this like this is what we need to work on the self -realiz realization 15 being the devil energy. Again, there's things here that are that are kind of like holding you back here. It's like for some reason you you created and it's not that you're it's not the word. It's like you have separated yourself in some way from your gift. And I feel like it's like we need to integrate that. You might have just gone through a Kundalini awakening or you will soon. But again, doing shadow work will really help you. Yeah, because it's like also for some of you, you have remote viewing. Yes, you have remote viewing. But it's like you can pick up things not only from this lifetime, but other lifetimes too. And it's like there's something about like, how do I know that what I picked up is happening in this lifetime and it's not from another lifetime? There's like a little bit of that. Like, how do I or... There's like a need for you to understand this gift a bit more, which I get it. It's, it's not an easy gift to have. Um, but because you need a lot of discernment, right? You don't want to go around just saying all the stuff without un fully understanding. But I also feel like there's also a denial here of you not realizing that this, this is who you are and this is your gift. But again, if you work on this, because I feel like that is a message for you. Because I feel for some of you, you already know this. That's why spirit is not really emphasizing what it is that your gifts are from a past life. Because I feel like you're aware of this. But again, um, that is what I have for you, pile number three. Don't forget to check out my girl's video to see if you're integrating any of these gifts that I mentioned here today from a past life in this current lifetime. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a beautiful weekend. Bye.